we've just ended our motor insurance conference at FIAR 2017, and we are here with one of our partners. The representative of FRIS is uh, Thomas Brinkman from Country Manager FRIS. Welcome to FIAR. Well, welcome. It is nice to, nice to have you here, uh, and we had a great conference. Thank you very much for your uh, presentation. And we have a few questions for those who maybe haven't joined FIAR this year, but want to know more about FRIS solutions. So I'll start by asking you, um, you have spoken today about the different types of fraud in the insurance market. Is fraud more than we usually think of? Well, I think uh, generally speaking, you can have fraud issues in underwriting and in claims. So when we talk about fraud in underwriting, we talk about premium leakage, meaning that comp uh, customers are providing un trustful information in order to obtain a better premium, a lower premium. So this is something what we consider underwriting fraud. In the claims process, we talk about misleading information about the accident, how it happened, or about exaggerating amounts concerning the uh, loss. So therefore we have also fraud in the claim side. Okay, we usually think of the second type of fraud when, you, when, you, when we speak about fraud. This is true. This is uh, usually in the mind of the people. They, they c see an accident and uh, they try to make uh, money out of it. Uh, but we shouldn't cons uh, forget also the underwriting side. Because, uh, for example, in the US, uh, we have seen recently a study that uh, the underwriting fraud is estimated to be almost at the same side as the claims uh, fraud. Oh, I see. That's pretty impressive, you know, in a bad way. <laughs> how, is, how are things in Europe? You said that in the US it's uh, this case. How are things in Europe? In the European in countries of the insurance market? Well, I think in Europe most companies are really focusing on uh, claims fraud and it is estimated in Europe that about 5 to 10 percent of the paid claims are fraudulent, which is of course since we know that in the motor insurance for example, which is the biggest class of uh, insurance uh, in Europe, uh, this is a significant amount of money that every year goes to unfair practices. So fraud is indeed an element that needs to be fight yes. in order to, to have a better management of the business. How can free solutions help in this regard? Well, our solution is uh, it's a hybrid approach. So we are trying to uh, have different methods in order to detect fraud. Um, starting from simple rules like expert rules that many companies have already implemented up to social network uh, analysis where we are trying to connect the different dots, the different, let's say, uh, parties involved in an accident. And uh, I think the important part is that all this uh, is in the background. So um, the client is uh, then receiving a free score which uh, determines based on the score, on the size of the score, on the color of the score, which should be the next steps in the claims handling process. See. So uh, the client knows about this score or just the company? No, the client will have full transparency, uh, which I think it's a huge advantage. So uh, we give the score, but we give also the clear transparency why this score had been built up. So this means then uh, an investigator has all the information and he can focus in his investigation also on the issues that we have automatically detected during the claims uh, process. So your evaluations also um, discourage fraud and discourage the people to, to try to go with the fraud intentions to another company? Well, this is a good point. Actually, companies who are uh, fighting fraud successfully, they should announce it also uh, in the press that they have this kind of systems because uh, a fraud is usually choosing the company where they believe it's the easiest target. So uh, I think it's not only to do good fraud fighting, but also to talk about it. <laughs> Maybe they don't want to talk about it because they want to be a, build a trap for those clients who intend to fraud. No, no, I think uh, it, uh, it shows it works. So uh, we, we shouldn't be uh, shy on this. So uh, if uh, a company has a good system in place, it should be also announced and uh, they should be proud of it. And uh, I think this will uh, already uh, help uh, to prevent even uh, potential frauds uh, to enter their portfolio. Of course, this is something that we want everyone to know that this is why you're here at FIAR. <laughs> okay, another question would be regarding the price of this service. It sounds complicated, it sounds uh, very 
very e efficient, but maybe it sounds also expensive for some of the, uh, your potential clients. Is it expensive to, to get this service for to manage the fraud? Well, I think you have to see the price always uh, in uh, comparison to the benefits. So uh, since we see that a lot of companies are struggling with their manual processes, there's a huge potential of uh, having an automated solution and having a lot more and better results in fraud fighting. So having these benefits in mind, uh, then the cost for the solution is uh, very, very reasonable. So uh, what we see with our clients is that we have uh, usually a return on investment within the first year. So uh, all the costs for the setup, for the implementation of the solution is compensated by the additional benefits already in the first year. And then we are aiming as a company to deliver continuously value to the client by introducing new methods and uh, by helping the client on the long run. So our aim is always uh, to have at least five times the benefit uh, that uh, the company enjoys compared to the yearly cost. So uh, in this respect, I think it's a very, very positive business case uh, for our clients. And also encouraging in this regard. <laughs> Well, considering the specific of the Romanian insurance market, because we are in Romania and speaking a lot about our market, especially the motor one, um, how can free solutions help? Well, I think uh, since the Romanian market is a mainly motor-dominated market, and most companies, they start with a motor business because this is in their portfolios uh, the big line of business. Uh, I think we have a good solution for the Romanian market as well uh, because we can bring in the international experience and together with the client we can adapt it to, to local standards uh, here. Um, we have already uh, a few discussions with companies uh, in the Romanian market and we have learned already a few things uh, about the market. So um, I think that the solution uh, can help here a lot uh, in the Romanian insurance companies to fight fraud because what we have seen in, in the discussions we had uh, the potential of uh, fraud might be even higher than, uh, let's say, on average, uh, than the average in Europe. So from uh, the discussions you've had, uh, the companies in Romania are taking uh, the, the management of fraud seriously or they're just beginning to realize it? Uh, no, I think uh, it starts uh, that they realize it uh, because especially also under the current market situation where there's a lot of pressure on the on the premiums or even a ceiling on the MTPA premium, um, it is very important to look at these other factors as well in order to have a positive uh, result for the company. So uh, uh, in a way it helps us uh, that there's a lot of cost pressure currently and usually fraud fighting had not been budgeted uh, in this uh, company. So it is a kind of extra benefit that they could enjoy if they start a project in fraud fighting, uh, which will help them also uh, to achieve their budgets. We, uh, we hope to see this happening soon and the effects as well. Thank you very much for being with us and uh, hope to see you again soon with the next uh, edition of not only FIAR but also other events that we organize. Okay, thank you very much. Pleasure to me. <laughs> thank you.